All right, this is Calibos, and we're playing Minecraft, and this is Ultimate Alchemy. So when we last left our intrepid hero, theoretically, that's me. Um, don't laugh. Mean. Um, just gonna chuck a bunch of his dirt off the edge. Remember when we used to want dirt? Um, we had set this up. Now our big goal here is. Uh, we need some redstone. Our big goal here is to set this up so that it alternates. Now that's not going to be terribly difficult. Uh, let's get an hourglass. Hourglass. Uh, gold, 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 gold. Isn't there a song like that? Oh, mysteriously I have enough. Hourglass. So one of the cool things about where we are is uh, we want ten. So we're gonna set the hourglass here, I guess. We're gonna get some stone. Redstone, sorry, it's redstone. I, I know it's redstone. Probably I know it's redstone. Uh, so we want to do that and that. Theoretically, uh, so each, each soul sand says one is 10 seconds. Each regular sand is like... No, wait. It's like... Uh, regular sand is... Regular sand is a second. Uh, red sand is 10 seconds. Like... One soul sand is a minute. So we want one soul sand, not 10 soul sand. Okay, yeah, that, that seems right. So, theoretically, what should happen is it should flip, and then this should go. You know, honestly, I could skip some of the wiring, maybe, and, and just set up two separate timers. We'll make sure this works before we do anything crazy. Uh, but it should, on pulse, swap this out. Hopefully I'm, I'm remembering this correctly. I don't think it's like a dropper or anything. We'll find out in a second. Yep, there we go. So, uh, in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cheese this. I'm going to do this exactly the same way. Because before, you know, in the past I've done this, there was like a weird wiring thing where it was like one signal for all of it. But I... In thinking about it over the last almost minute and a half or however long it's been, seems like forever, uh, I have decided that it doesn't matter because they don't have to be lined up. I don't need them to be. Let's grab two more glass. Um, I mean... If it runs out of mana, which would normally be the problem, I would just add more endo flames because fuel is not an issue. So, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, 
So we're just going to run this exactly the same way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hourglass. Everything should have a bucket in it. Let's pull our rod of the seas out. Uh, yeah, see this. This is why I was like talking about the uh You know what? Let's do it with reinforced. It'll look nice. And again, all of this is going to auto magically drop into this, which is doing floral fertilizer. And once that's full, I'm just going to wait for it to flip. Got about a minute. how the hourglass changes the water texture. Uh, probably about 20 seconds left. So let's go ahead and do this so that the flowers don't like go all over the ground. But yeah, check that out. That is a 100% automatic flower farm. Um. You know, and it works at twice the speed. Why build one when you can build two for twice the cost? Uh, we'll have to see how it keeps up mana-wise. Uh, there is actually a flower that you can do that will tell you whether... Um, Oh, I judged that pretty close, too. Nice. Uh, there's actually a flower that you can put next to it that will show different color particle effects based on whether a mana pool is, on average, filling up or, or lowering. Because it basically checks, like, once, once every 30 seconds or once a minute or something like that. So it ignores the kind of heightened effect of pulses, um and staggered effect of flowers, so it just gives you an overall comparison. Man, I'm so proud of that. I did not think it up though. I promise you I did not. Like, this this is old school. Like, I have no idea who came up with this nonsense. It's really cool nonsense. Uh, I have no idea who came up with it. Oh yeah, man, I am like snap on. That's crazy. Okay, so let's let's do this. should keep the flowers from things. 
All right, so we will never have to make flowers again. I mean, we're already at this. And keeping in mind, it's going to fill these up first. Uh, and then it'll fill up petals, and then it'll be flowers. So once it gets to petals, we'll probably be fine. Um, the, the dyes are actually going to be really helpful as far as different colors for um, our uh, whatchamahoosits uh, ender chests and ender tanks and I, I really I want I want red mushrooms uh, but I don't see any way of getting them. I don't even know if this mushroom farm is doing anything. I really don't. Okay, so... Uh, best thing that we can do now is let that do its thing and fill up. Uh, we'll check on the mana in a bit. So, get rid of that. Oh, for another dispenser or something. All right. So, looking at what we have, we need to we need to consolidate our automation here. So, in order to do that, we are going to have to do uh, pulverizers. Uh, so, in order to automate our pulverizers, I would like to get into eating. Uh, nether quartz. So nether quartz. Let's see if we can find a viable way of making the nether quartz. Oh, um, so we can get nether quartz by just throwing nether rack into a mana pool with an alchemy catalyst, which means we need to really get on having this. So I think that we can make blaze powder. Um... So if we make a centrifugal separator, constant, nickel and copper. So we have tin. So let's work on getting nickel. Pulverize nickel.
So if we get a fractioning still. Uh, so fractioning still is probably where we're supposed to go afterwards. So it, it's kind of looking like we need to make molten nickel uh, through the fractioning still. got to be a way to do this like I think I saw a way but okay okay so we have a 10% chance if we grind up iron ore which we could molten iron through stone make so iron ore or iron with, uh, molten iron uh, so magma crucible can we make a magma crucible Copper, redstone, nether brick, machine frame. Okay, let's let's try this. Magma crucible. I think that we have like weird glass over here. Yeah. Grab all that. 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 Grab our tech stuff. Hold on to it. So, Magma Crucible now requires four of these. And we want gold and redstone. Uh, we need netherrack eight cooked. Uh, so that's cool. Nether brick one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, copper gears one, two, one, two. 
to... Okay, Magma Crucible. Let's grab this. This? No, we need the other one. Five, six, seven. Okay, casting basin. So magma crucible is going to basically go uh, casting basin. We want you to uh, output out the bottom. You'll need power. Man, I cannot wait until we have a, a lead. So we have some other stuff available. Uh, glass we've got. Uh, flux ducts. Specifically, we want diamonds. We're not quite there yet. Okay, so your job is to pull iron from the thing on top. Uh, you are going to be a stone barrel. go that one yeah that perfect so theoretically this should make us iron ore right so the iron ore uh, we should be able to uh, set through a pulverizer with a 10% chance. So let's make a pulverizer really quick. So it's pretty much going to be the same. Grab some that will give us our whatchamahoosits. Uh, we need one gold ingot. Need a piston. Okay, so now we have that. Your job is to pull auto input enabled uh, flux duct. So we want to increase the chances that we're going to get an output. Uh, so now I want a furnace thermal redstone furnace. So uh, one, two, 
four, one, two, four, one, two, four. Uh, I've got glass, I've got redstone. Or iron. Uh, let's go hop across and get some bricks. Uh, should just be able to uh, one more gold. All right. And now a furnace. So with this, we want to be able to pull from the bottom and output there. That you are going to input from there. You're going to output from the, to the top. And then to our side that get a compacting drawer. So we'll need piston drawer. Uh, compacting drawer and iron which we can pull from there and one two Packing drawer. Uh, so I'm going to put the compacting drawer there. Oh, that worked not very well. Uh, we probably actually want another furnace. Grab another gold out of our bag. Oh yeah, more bricks. More bricks. More bricks for the brick god. So this is probably not the most graceful setup, I guess. Uh, but I feel that it does emphasize how compact everything can get now. Uh, let's actually do it there. So now all we have to do is feed iron into this nonsense. And Eventually, we'll get stuff. Remember, it's it's a 10% chance, so we can actually bump that if we look into thermal. Uh, increases the chance of... This is the one that we want. So we want bronze and a redstone servo. I think that what we're going to do, though, is we're going to leave that for the next episode. We're at 29 minutes, and I, I feel that we have done things. Things and stuff. Uh, so I hope you liked the episode. If you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, don't. Simple as that. Questions, comments, concerns, they're all beautiful things. I'd love to hear them. And, uh, yeah. Have a good night.